Good morning, come that. indeed. Right now, whenever this man's in studio, Jono, he is talking about space and oh, the great unknown. But you know what? This morning we're talking about, you know, you know there's, there's certain, certain things in our lives that we just expect to work. We don't question how they work, but the minute they fail or stop working, we kept, kick up a major fuss. And uh, many of these technologies that we are talking about, they all have one thing in common, and that is satellites. So have you ever thought, what would a day be like should there be no satellites? It's a very interesting question, John. Oh, lovely to have you, man. Thank you. So, so what would it be like? I mean, we know that there's satellites orbiting all, all, all around uh, Earth. Um, what would a day be like when, when they all should, for some reason, stop working? Well, I think our lives would be unrecognizable. and We take it for granted, um, uh, things like cell phones, things like banking, things like uh, global news, TV, um, weather forecasts, traffic control, wow. and, and we can see what... We'll see just now what happens mm -hmm. if, if we lost all of those for a day. It would yeah. be terrible. That would be weird. So, I mean, we're literally going to go back <laughs> yeah. thousands of years. Like, back to queuing. Back to queuing. Listen, um, what, what could cause such a... Such a it, because it's possible. It can happen. It, can, it happen. can actually happen. So what could actually cause it? It can happen naturally through a, an extremely large solar flare, or it can happen through either an accident in space, okay. or like we've seen before, collisions of satellites, or worst case disaster, a war in space. And that's something we have to be very careful to avoid is we don't start shooting down each other's satellites because that would cause something called the Kessler effect. Okay. And you can see space is pretty crowded with satellites is at any satellites? point in time. Those are, are things orbiting the Earth that are either debris or oh, satellites. Wow. Wow. And you can see from near Earth orbit all the way out to geostationary Earth orbit, all the different satellites and debris that we need to deal with and that avoid every day. And I mean, I believe like even the smallest piece of debris can actually cause some serious damage. Well, it's traveling at, at about 1,600 kilometers an hour and uh, yeah, it can, can blow a hole in just about anything. So yeah, oh, every day we have, to, we have to be very careful of what we're gonna collide with. So, so say at six o'clock in the morning, we were to lose all of our satellites. Okay. On the first day, you know, the first thing that would happen is that the GPS systems would go down and yep. they give us universal standard time. Yes. And if we u lose universal standard time, we're in big trouble because m all of our major infrastructure actually runs off the synchronization of this. So hundreds of millions of cell phones gone, throw them away, you can't use them. Um, banking cards, ATMs, forget about it, they're all gonna go offline. Stock markets are gonna crash because nobody's gonna know what's going on, they're all gonna go down. Uh, global news, not gonna get any. Um, believe it or not, lots of traffic systems run off GPS, so they're all going to go down. We're going to have traffic jams like crazy. Wow. The grid's going to lose synchronization, so we're going to have global blackouts. It'll be months before we get electricity again. Ship to shore radio will, won't work anymore. Air traffic oh, control is going to go down, so we're going to have to ground all of the flights. There'll be no flying anymore. Serious? Absolutely. And by the end of that day, there's going to be a, a huge series of airplane crashes, train crashes, shipwrecks, and the and Blackouts. So fortunately, the satellite systems stay up, and fortunately, our <laughs> lives are pretty much the same day by day. But we don't think about it. This do is we? this is this actually scares me a little bit because it just makes one realize how kind of plugged into the system you really are. Even if you think you are going off the grid, you're really not off the grid. So so listen, you mentioned um, you know some of the factors that could cause like satellites to stop working. Yeah. No 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 weapons in space that you. Well, know. F fortunately, it's the one one place we haven't had a war. And there's a treaty from 1967 that says there's no weapons of mass destruction allowed in space. Okay. But it's okay. a big concern. We don't want to weaponize space. And that's yeah. not to say we don't use it militarily. Yeah. South Africa launched a billion rand um, spy satellite last year. Okay. All right. And, uh, and there's soft wars being soft fought war in being space out. all the time. All right. It's good to know that there's no giant lasers out there. Anyway, John, thank you so much, man. Very Thanks interesting and scary at the same time indeed. But good to know that those satellites are operating just fine at the moment. Let's continue with your... Friday morning, here's Leanne.